In this video, I want to show you how to install and run Chrome OS as a virtual machine in VMware Player in Windows 10. We will be using the Chrome OS version of CloudReady, which is for Neverware.com. The first step is to install VMware Player on your Windows 10 machine. So open your web browser, go to VMware.com, hover over downloads and choose free product downloads. On the right, you have workstation player, click on it. And here I have Windows 10 running, so I'm going to be downloading the workstation player for Windows 10. Click on download now. And the download will begin. It's a short download, so it should be fast. When the download finishes, go to the folder where the file was downloaded. And here you see the file that is downloaded. Double click on it to install it. So follow the instruction to install it. Click on Next. Accept the agreement. Click on Next. So here I'm going to select Enhanced Keyboard Driver. This option will force us to restart after installation. It's not a big deal. We wanted to check for updates. I don't want to join the VMware customer community. And I want to create two shortcuts. Click on Next, and now it will be installed. Once the installation finishes, just click on Finish. Forget about license, because we are going to use the player version, so we don't need the license. Just click on Finish, and now you'll be prompted to restart. So you need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So click on Yes. After VMware Player is installed, we need to download the virtual machine image from CloudReady. So open your web browser, go to neverware.com, hover over CloudReady Editions, click Home, scroll down until you find this section that is called where can I find VM images, click on download VM images. And once again, scroll down to almost the bottom of the page and click download cloud ready home edition OVA file. The version might be different when you see this video. So the cloud ready home edition OVA file starts downloading. I have already downloaded it before, so I'm going to cancel this download and use the one that I downloaded before. At this stage, you need to open VMware Player. So in the search box, I just typed VMware and selected VMware Workstation 15 Player. In VMware Player, click on Open a Virtual Machine. Go to the Downloads folder or to the folder where you downloaded the OVA file from CloudReady. Click on it and click Open. And here is VMware Player importing the virtual machine. You can choose the name you want. I'm going to leave it as it is. And you can also choose where you want to set it up. I'm going to leave everything by default and just click on Import. The virtual machine is imported. So what's happening now is that VMware Player is reading from the OVA file that we downloaded and it is writing the virtual disk and the virtual machine configuration in the default folders as you see on the previous screen. Give it a minute or two. It depends on the speed of your PC here. Once the importing is finished, as you see, the virtual machine is ready to be started. Let's check its settings before. So click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings after you select the virtual machine that was just imported. And as you see here, the configuration was imported too. So it is using 4 gigabyte of memory. 
if your PC doesn't have more than 4 GB of RAM, the host PC, you need to reduce this number to 2 GB. My PC has 16 GB of RAM, so this number is good. The processor is 2, which is good also. Hard disk is 32 GB, which is more than enough. For the network, it comes as a bridged network. Make sure you choose NAT to have access to the internet. And for the rest of the configuration, I'm going to leave everything by default and just press OK. And now we're ready to start the Chrome OS Cloud Ready VM. So make sure it is selected and press the play button on VMware player. And as you see, it is starting. At first start, it needs configuration. So here, if you want to change the language, you can change it. I'm going to leave it as English and press let's go. As you see here, it is connected to the Ethernet connection. So this is good also. Press next. And I don't like to send any data. So I'm going to uncheck this and click continue. And here you need to sign in with your Gmail account. Put your password. And press next. Press get started. And let's close this welcome screen. And here you have your cloud ready Chrome OS VM started. These are the applications. This is a web store if you want to install something like web extensions. As you noticed, the display of the VM is small. If you want to change it, click on the bottom right corner, click settings, click device on the left, click displays. And here, if you want to change the resolution to something bigger, just click the drop down list and choose the resolution you want. Of course, choose the resolution that is smaller than your host resolution. Let's say I want to put it here at uh, 1280 times 768. So just select it. And if the screen flickers like this, just hit enter on your keyboard. And this is it. So as you saw here, let me close this. As you saw here, the setting is bigger now. That was it. If you think this video might help others, Please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.